Okay, for anyone sitting the ACWA GCSE physics exam, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to learn. The reason I'm showing you this document is so that if you realise there's something that you don't know about, then you can either ask your teacher about it or make sure that you find out about it yourself. Just remember, the students who pass are the students who take responsibility for themselves. Hopefully this document will help you to do that. Have a look on the contents if you want to skip to a certain section. And if you want anything explained, comment below the video and I'll do a video to help you out. I'm not going to explain every page. Some of the pages are just for teachers really. I will put a link in the description so that you can download the specification for yourself. Just keep it as an electronic copy to refer to or print it out and use it as a checklist. So this is just for teachers really. Right, this page is important. If you're studying aqua, then there's eight units that you need to know about. It tells you here that on paper one, you'll be assessed on your knowledge on topics one to four. So that's energy, electricity, particle model of matter, and atomic structure. The paper's one hour and 45 minutes. I've got a lot of walkthroughs on my channel. If you want to check them out, they'll be helpful for you. And this paper one is 50% of your overall grade. Paper two, that's going to assess topics five to eight, which is forces, waves, magnetism, and electromagnetism, and space physics. Again, the paper's on for one hour and 45 minutes. It's worth 100 marks, and it's 50% of your overall GCSE. Pause the video if you want to have a look at the page, but this is just for teachers, really. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So here's the subject content. It's only got a four on the front here because it's part four of the specification. This is topic number one, energy. So you can just ignore the number four on the front each time. So this is what is going to be on paper one. So make sure that you've learned this. Okay, here's topic two, electricity, which is also tested on paper one. Here's topic three, which is particle model of matter which is also on paper one. Here's topic four, atomic structure, which is also assessed on paper one. Now this is topic five, forces. So this is on paper two. And here's topic six, waves, which is on paper two. Topic seven, magnetism and electromagnetism.
Topic 8, Space Physics. And that's everything that you need to know. On top of that, you do need to know about the core practicals. This is just for teachers. These are all the mathematical requirements that you should have picked up generally over the last few years while you've been studying GCSE. Now, because of COVID, there's been no practical assessment. You still, however, could get asked about various practicals, the core practicals. So your teacher should have still explained those to you. And here's some information about those. There's required practical activity one. The specification for Edexcel, in my opinion, is easier to understand. So if you're struggling to understand exactly what it is that each core practical is, they're very similar for Edexcel. So you might want to check out my videos where I go over the Edexcel specification. There's required practical two. Required practical three. So the details are here. And then it goes on to tell you various other things. Required practical four. Required practical five. Required practical six. Required practical seven. Required practical 8, required practical 9, required practical 10. Now this document's important. These are all the equations that you should be able to recall and apply. Recall means that you need to be able to memorise them. I've got a nice video on my channel all to do with these equations. These equations are the equations that you should be able to select and apply. So you don't need to memorize these equations, but it is a good idea to make sure that you've looked at them before the exams, so you're not seeing them in the exams for the first time. So you'll be expected to use these in the exam for the correct questions. And here's some more that you need to be able to select and apply. And that's it. So I hope that video has been useful for you. Like I say, if you need any help on anything, put a comment below the video and I'll look into that for you. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel so you can receive notifications for the future videos that I'll be doing to help you with your mocks and with the real exams. Work hard, be nice, and bye for now.